Hey everyone and welcome to my craft room. My name's Julianne Richards and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator from southern Tasmania. Uh, thanks for joining me today. I'm just waiting for my iPad to catch up. Okay, so that sound looks all right. Hopefully the picture looks all right. I'm a brand new phone, so I'm hoping everything will be working properly. Um, I can't plug in my new microphone today, so um, hopefully um, you're hearing me okay. The uh, reason I can't plug my microphone in is because I've only got one hole, one jack, and it's got my charger in it at the moment, or else I'll lose my phone battery. So anyway, we'll go with the... Um, We'll go with the microphone in the phone and a man has just turned up to deliver something. I wonder what that could be. I hope he's going to bash on the door. He'll bash on the door really, really loud in a minute. Anyway, oh, thanks Sue. Yes, all good. Oh, good to know. Thanks Sue for letting me know. Um, today is just a quick um, uh, half hour video where I just wanted to show you this new um, die set, it actually comes with a stamp set and a die set. It's actually the handsomely suited stamp set and the suit and tie dies. Um, they are very, very, very new. They are actually available to customers from early January as part of the um, January to June mini catalogue, um, which comes out, as I say, in January. Um, if you'd like the look of this, you'd like to get your hands on the catalogue early, please drop me a line and I will pop a catalogue in the mail for you. Um, and, um, you know, so you can have a look at all the new stuff we've got coming in January. Sorry, I'm a bit distracted. I'm just watching this young man walk up my driveway and he's got a stamping up box. Wow, I wonder what that is. We've got a delivery, a big brown box delivery. That's exciting. Anyway, he should leave that and run anyway. Okay, so we've got, uh, yes, yeah, so basically I'm going to be using the suit and tie dies in this little project today just to whet your appetite for that one. Sorry, a bit distracted. He's wandered off down now. Okay, so I'm going to show you, and the inspiration for this one, I have to thank my dear friend Jenny, Jenny Christmas, who um, inspired me the other day by saying she was making a calendar. Uh, a desktop easel calendar for her uncle, I think it was. And she said she was using um, the very, very beautiful um, poppies dies, which I thought, well, that's they're pretty, but they're not really what I'd give my uncle. But anyway, so I thought, well, what would you give a masculine, well, well a man, or someone who likes masculine things, um, for a desk calendar? about this time of year. So what I thought was if I combine my usual um, desk easel calendar with the suit and die, suit and tie dies, I know I'm going to get that wrong for six months now, um, we're going to come up with something that might be appropriate for you know, the gentleman in our life you want to give a small gift to or a secret Santa or something. So I have actually cut and scored all the pieces of paper. So I'll just run through with you what I've got. I'll just get rid of this for the moment. My normal um, desk calendar, easel calendar, you have a 11 and a half by four and, and an eighth piece of cardstock, which you score at five and three quarters and two and seven eighths. So that goes like that and produces the calendar. Um, so I've made videos with these before if you want to search back. I then also have a piece of um, four and an eighth by five and three quarters in Night of Navy. So this is all Night of Navy. And I've run that one through our subtle 3D embossing folder just to give it that sort of linen sort of fabric sort of look. And if you know from my previous videos, that's going to sit there and form the, the front facing easel part of our easel card. And then the fun bit begins because I've actually started cutting the wonderful components of my suit. So I'll just show you the dies. So the dies have all the little bits and bobs you need to make a suit or a tuxedo or a cardigan or whatever sort of attire you like. We have this one here, which is obviously the, the lapels and collars. And then you've got this cute one, which is the, a tie, obviously. And a couple of bow ties, a big one and a little one. This one here is the collar of your shirt. 
just like that. We've got a little but, uh, pocket and some buttons and some other little bits and bobs. This one here I think is meant to be a belt, but um, you'll see in a moment I've used that as the sort of central sort of seam. I don't know if there's any dressmakers amongst us that sort of the seam on the front of a shirt where the buttons sort of in the buttonholes are, the sort of thickened reinforced part. It is a little bit too long as you can see, so you have to trim that off, but it's perfect for that look like inner sort of uh, joiny bit of a shirt. Okay, anyone who's a dressmaker, please help me. What's that bit called? Okay, so that's what I've we've got to work with, and this is what I've done. So the bundle comes with a, some wonderful designer series paper. Comes sort of they're all sort of shirt type patterns, like um, you know business shirt. This one is a really nice one that I've been using. I'm going to be using this one for my customer gift for December so I use that for the shirt you can see there's other stripes and in the back of this one there's like a paisley design so and they're all nice little designs so they're sort of quite they fit the sort of uh, what do I say they sit they fit the magnitude or the sort of dimensions of of the pocket and the buttons so you can imagine if that was the size of your pocket your shirt would have a design that's something that sort of size. It's not huge, yeah, and they're quite small. Okay, so I've cut these little bits already. So that's the shirt part. Here's the lapels. You can see I've popped that through the, um, what's the word? I've popped that through the embossing folder as well to give that the sort of uh, textured look. I've cut this one for the the bit that no one's told me what it's called yet, the bit where the buttons are on the shirt. Got a little few buttons here and a, um, a collar. And I thought if you're going to have a brown, uh, a blue, um, a blue shirt, you need a bright red tie. So that's basically my shirt there, um, my, my suit. So let's, we can start putting that together. I might assemble that before we pop it onto the easel card and do that part just so you can see the the idea of the whole setup with the shirt and the and the suit. Okay. Ooh. There's my glue lid. Okay, so this is our shirt. I'm going to pop that. No, sorry. Rewind. I'm going to pop the lapels on first. Just Forgive me a minute, I've only done a couple of these, so I'm still working out the best way of doing it, but definitely the lapel first. And you're basically just popping that onto the cardstock, sort of as central as you can. And you line the top of the, the, the um, collar with the top of your cardstock there like that. So you can see that in the light, you can sort of see that sort of, it looks like you've got a, a collar happening. Then what I'm going to do is bring in the material of the shirt, the cardstock I've used for the shirt. And that's going to fit the way the dies work. That fits perfectly. Oh no, I think I've mucked it up. That's not a good thing. That's not a good start, is it? Hang on. Rewind. It's not the lapel you put on first. Or was it? <laughs> anyway, stay with me guys, stay with me. I think you've got to put that on first. <laughs> Goodness me. It's a good thing the glue hadn't set. Anyway, pop that one on first. And then bring in the lapels because the lapels are actually going to overlap a little bit. There we go. There we are. Apologies for that. I didn't mean to confuse everybody. But there you go. That's worked. There we are. I'll put a little bit more glue up there where it's just dried a bit. Okay, so we've got our shirt in and our lapels wrapped around it now the reason that didn't work for me was because i had made the lapels a little bit too narrow and so 
I needed them to fit around the, the shirt triangle there. Okay, so there we are. Sorry, it's very, very new. Very, very new. You're catching me probably my only my second or yeah second time using it. So we bring in our little piece here that's actually supposed to be our button up front. And that's, I've already trimmed that. You can see I've trimmed it down the bottom so it fits into that little um, V-shaped thing uh, bit at the bottom there. So we might bring that in next, hopefully. That's going to work out. So we bring that in. So that just gives the appearance of, of, a, of a proper tailored shirt there. Okay, so then I'm going to I'm going to have my tie here so that it's tucked up under the collar. So you could put your tie at the front on the top or you could tuck it in under. So I thought I might tuck it in under like that. So oh, do I like it? Actually I think I like it outside. What do we reckon? I think I might leave it on the outside. But that's not strictly how you wear a tie, is it? You wear it underneath, like that. Yeah, I'm going to bring it underneath. But anyway, I can add the collar, like so, just with the glue, just at the top parts of the, the, the at the you know, top straight edge. And you can line that up with the top of your shirt and glue that down. And then we'll bring in our tie and we'll just nuzzle it up under there. Now there is a second part to this tie where you can give it the look like it's got the proper sort of knot at the top. So I've cut one of those in the red as well. And I'll just put that on. So it looks like you've got your proper knotted, your proper knotted tie. I'll just make sure you can see that there. The proper knot at the tie. And then I'm going to pop that in just under those collars like that. How's that? It looks really good, doesn't it? After my full start. You can see you did, really didn't need to bother with this seam bit because we're not actually going to see it very much up under the tie. But if you were using the, say, the um, bow tie, which is um, what I'm going to be showing you next, you would, you, you wouldn't, you'd need that detail there. I'm just going to add that tie. I'm going to let it sort of um, just pop that there. And that's pretty good. A little bit too much glue. It wouldn't be me if it wasn't too much glue. And there we are. Okay, so there we are. What do we think of that? Isn't that sweet? That's really good. You can imagine that sort of um, mounted onto the back of a card or something like onto the front of a card sort of thing. And we've got the little pocket here, which you can add there, but I'm not gonna bother doing that because I'm going to be putting my, um, my calendar on there. So um, yeah, so you don't, you'd, you'd lose the detail of the pocket if it was there anyway. Okay, so let's finish off this calendar. So as I said, we're just going to add this is the front of our easel. So we just pop a bit of glue on that front facing panel there. And line all that up. That's all lined up there like that Oop, just moved a tiny bit sorry about that it's just now that's straight perfect okay so then we're going to, I've got another panel of this um, designer series paper here that I'm going to pop underneath there so just to continue on the the uh, the pattern of the, the the shirt material that I've chose, so we'll pop that on there. And then 
we can add our calendar. So here I've got a little 2021 calendar that I bought online. And I've got a little piece of um, Knight of Navy cardstock that I've just cut like a quarter or half, an uh, eighth of an inch larger than the calendar. So depending on how big your calendar is, you just cut a backing piece that's just slightly larger. And I'll, probably, I'll attach that onto there. And then put the whole thing onto our calendar. Yeah, like that, but I might do that. And I'm going to have a sticky, sticky notes as well. So I've got a sticky note um, pad here and I've got the same thing, a piece of Knight of Navy that's just larger than the sticky notes. So I'll, it is sticky there, but it's not quite sticky enough. So I'll just pop some glue on the back of that and put it on there. And the sticky notes sort of doubles up as the stop for our easel so that the the easel doesn't fall forward. There we are. Oh, oh you can tell I used that Knight of Navy for something else. There we are. I'm gonna pop this on here. Just like that. Central as you can. Okay, now we'll pop our calendar there. I did have a brief inspiration that maybe I'd put the calendar up under the tie just to sort of make it look a bit, but then you'd have to move the tie every time you were looking at the date. So we are going to lose a little bit of our tie detail there. So I'll stick that over the top. Unfortunately, you'll lose a little bit of that. But I think it's better than having it fall off every time you go to change the month. There we are. Okay, so there is my finished tie suit and tie calendar, easel calendar, um, with the new um, tie suit and tie dies. Apologies, I got the order of that mixed up a little bit, but we got there in the end. And um, as I use this one more, I'm sure I'll get more used to that order of how to do things sorry I went sideways there you're probably best to see it that way um, yeah so that's that's that one there so I'll just sit up on on the bench um, something like that um, to be used and uh, it folds lovely and flat like that so you can pop it in the post um, or pop it in a, an envelope just to give it to your someone special but I think that's really really nice I quite like that that's really good. Anyway, okay, so that's the easel that I was talking about. <clears throat> I thought I'd just do one more with this set just because um, I had a few moments left. And um, I've got a little bit of a story here. Um, I don't know if anyone knows, but before I started getting serious with my stamping up, I actually had a Etsy store. And the Etsy store, I sold, obviously, handmade cards. What else would there be? Um, and I had a design for a tuxedo card that I swear probably over two or three years I sold probably a hundred tuxedo cards and oh my goodness every time I got an order I would moan and roll my eyes because it was such a pain to do. I mean it was a good a great card and obviously very popular but it was a nightmare with all the fiddling and the colour and cutter it cutting and the mucking around. Um, so it was, people used it a lot for, um, uh, you know, um, will you be my my best man cards or they gave them for graduations or, you know, weddings, that sort of thing. So it was a really popular design. So with this new die set, I can basically throw away the old way I used to do my tuxedo cards and I can use this set. So I've just got quickly cut all the little bits here that I would need. I have a basic black card base and I've got a white panel for inside. And then I've cut all the bits that you've actually seen with the, the calendar there. I've cut my lapels in black. I've cut my shirt in white. So remember, we're going to put that on first this time. I've cut my collar in white. 
I've cut myself one of those little bow ties that we just talked about and the the seam whichever whatever we've decided to call it the the bit where the buttons are I've cut that in white as well I may have to trim that down a little bit so as I say I've trimmed the end to match the the, the uh, rect the uh, triangular end of our shirt so as I say I'm going to trim it up here so that it's the right length okay so we know from last time that we put this bit on first and that's exactly what we're going to do so as I say this is a really popular design for um, best man invites groomsmen so you'd often do when I had orders for them, I would match the colour of the bow tie to the colour the bridesmaids were going to be. So say the bridesmaids were going to have um, pink dresses, I'd give them a pink bow tie just so the whole wedding party was um, was matching, which was like, you know, really important, I suppose. Um, and I'd often as well, I'll just tell you, show you on the pocket, which I'd always hand cut a pocket, I'd put um, some little gold uh, initials for the best man so you know say his you know his initials were BB or something I'd put a little gold die cut BB on the pocket there just to make it that little bit more special so you can always do those little bits you know when you're doing them yourself so I'm going to pop the lapels on lining them up at the top overdoing the glue as usual there we go so that's really that's looking good already isn't it yeah okay so then we'll bring in our no we'll bring in our little seam now this is important this bit on this particular card because we're going to be using the bow tie so we will actually see that um, button um, closure part there but I am actually going to have to cut it off a little bit just to match where the collar ends so I might bring in the collar and estimate I want to cut it off just there so I don't know that this is what stamping up intended for this little bit but that's what I'm using it for hence the fact that we have to cut it off a little bit so there we are. So we might pop that one on next, just with some glue. There we are. I'm going to decorate that in a minute just to make this really, really special. Just bear with me for a minute. We'll put our collars on. Just like that. And I think how quick this is compared to the ones that I made for my Etsy customers. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have that so far. That's looking good. So I'm going to bring in the bow tie and I'm going to pop the bow tie up on a dimensional just to give that, that little sort of, sort of oomph. So just pop one single dimensional just in the middle of the bow tie there. And pop him on there. take that out for a second pop him on there just in position there we are how's that <laughs> that's so cute might be a bit high I think it's a bit high ah. I don't know that I'm going to be successful in getting that off oh, no we're okay we're okay. It just needs to be a little bit lower. There we are. That's better. Only you and I would know that. So there we are. So there's our bow tie in spot. We'll just add our butt, our little pocket. And as I say, you could probably um, put some initials on that or uh, put a little pocket handkerchief, like cut a little triangle and pop a little pocket handkerchief there, which would be really nice. 
It's a wonder they haven't put one of those on there. I used to usually sort of coordinate that with the bridesmaids dresses as well and the bow tie. There we are. Okay, and the last thing this needs now is some buttons. And I thought just to really oomph it a little bit and make it special, I would use our gilded gems for the buttons. Gold buttons on our tuxedo. So I think probably the little ones will be big enough. And I think probably just the three. So this is why I was saying this central seam is important because we want to make our buttons central on that. So one, I think probably three is enough. Two. And my fingers are sticky. Stickier than my butt, my... Gym to just the right distance. So I started with the middle one and then did top and bottom just so that I got them the same distance apart. Really, he could do with a fourth. Yeah, we'll just pop a fourth one here. Just a bit, a bit extravagant, but that's good. Okay, so there we are. How's that? That's just about the easiest, easiest tuxedo card I've ever done. Well, we can show put the, um, the inner panel in and to be honest it probably needs a little few black buttons as well I might just cut those and put buttons on the actual suit there we are. so it needs a little buttons here so I might just grab the dies so the buttons are really cute they actually come in six so there's actually six buttons there nothing worse than having to cut these little pieces individually i'll just find some black card stock here we are some black card stock left from before and i won't bring my die cutting in as you guys know it wobbles like the end of the world i'm just cutting those six little buttons i only think i want one or two of them two little black buttons there and I'm just going to pop them just here just to finish that off Okay, there we are. So that is the um, tuxedo card in um, no time flat. But I love those. I love the gold buttons. I think that really lifts it. But as I say, you could add a little triangle for a pocket um, handkerchief. You could change the colour of your bow tie so to match the occasion. And then you'd have in the die set, we've got lots of opportunities there. You've got your happy birthday. You could make it a congratulations if you were saying you had a, a wedding, something like that, or an engagement. Um, but yeah, Father's Day. It's probably a bit formal for the average dad on his Father's Day, but anyway, you go with that. So there we are. That's my two uses of the suit and ties dies. Got the order of it right for the second one, but that's all good. It's all learning. So we've got our tuxedo card there, which is great for weddings and engagements and um, best man, uh, what do they call them, proposals, best man or groomsman proposals. And then we've got our, our desk calendar there, which would be great for a, um, a work colleague even, like a work colleague who wears a suit to work every day. That would be really good. I might uh, send that to one of my work colleagues. Um, um, from my from my day job so would be good okay so thanks again guys as i say it is the handsomely suited and suit and tie dies which are available with some with the designer series paper from january early january in the new 
January to June mini catalogue. Um, if you absolutely love it and can't wait and would like to get hold of this one in December, you can get it as part of your starter kit if you were to join Stamping Up. So if you um, were thinking of joining Stamping Up, I'd love you to join my little team, the Chatty Stampers. We're a great little bunch of um, supportive card makers. We look after each other and have become tr really good friends. So you could pop this um, bundle or this suite into your starter kit uh, and get started making those, um, those tuxedos and um, those uh, suits and things um, straight away. Okay, so thanks for joining me today. I better get back to my day job. Um, unfortunately, we still have to pay the bills and um, support the craft habit with an outside job. But uh, thanks for joining me and I will see you all um, next time.